Yo, yo, yo. How we doing today, everybody? Good to see you. Welcome to another day here on the channel. We are picking up right where we left off yesterday. We are in the throes of night 21. We have two hours left. It has been an experience. We built this awesome day 21 base. It's going great. And at the end of the stream yesterday, I kind of decided that I think I want to do a vault build in this game. I do. I want to try building a base into a mountain, and I think I'm going to do that. So one of the things we're going to really be working on is I, I, I have not yet decided if I want to try making like a steel pick or if I want to maybe go for an auger first. So we'll have to see, like, we'll have to decide that. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep working on this night. We're going to go from there. Hope y'all are doing well this morning. As always, a pleasure. <laughs> hey, Art, what's up, buddy? This is a little bit more intense than we normally get into right at the beginning of the stream, but uh, if I if you quit this game, then what happens is is the day the night resets and like you lose all the loot and like all sorts of terrible stuff. So for nights, it's best to do all the night at once, which is why I left it on overnight and quit it because I just can't quit you. Yeah. Hey, Kudatazumi, how are you? Happy early birthday, dude. Oh, we're hungry. Uh, nice. Okay. Does this seem too easy? So, not only does this not necessarily seem too easy, but we're essentially still on the tutorial night. Day, day 21 is still basic zombies, like very few flyers, very few spitters. So, like, this, this is very much still... Like, you're learning the game, is what's going on right now. My stream won't stop buffering. Really? Dude, look at all that loot down there. Oh my god. I think I have to build a uh, container up here. Uh, do I have enough wood? No, I don't. Shoot. Um. I go chop down a tree or something real quick, I guess. Honestly, at this point, I may want to start considering saving as much ammo as I can for other nights. Oh, Lord, what just hit me? Just kidding. Just kidding. Good joke, Co. Good joke. That was a funny joke that Mr. Co just made. Here, let's go to this. Wait. I don't trust the puppets. Whee! Okay. <clears throat> yes! <laughs> okay, just stand next to the turret. That was amazing. Straight yeeted that owl. Man, I feel like our crazy amount of looting and, and meticulous ammo saving just like rocked this night. Oh my lord, dude. That was awesome. Uh, let's see. Now 
this stuff, th this loot on the ground could potentially poof pretty fast. So we're gonna need to like super quick run over and get some trees and build a chest and just dump everything into it. We'll sort through it everything later. That's the bag I'm most worried about. I want that red bag. But I also don't want to die. So that's the thing. We're gonna wait until we stop that. Chad has assured me that if we keep the default time on, which we have, that all these bags will be here in the limited night zone. Then again, Chad has been known to not always be right. Hmm. Keep that in mind. <laughs> How dare. How dare. Chad is always right. I'm going to stand next to this while I repair. Whoa. Did he get it? No, it didn't. Why didn't he get it? There we go. Whoop. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Great. Hell yeah, dude. You love to see it. We did it. Whoa, what's the blue bag? I've never seen a blue bag before. Mm, applause. Yellow, blue, red. Oh, okay. Okay. I hate that you can't drag and release to have it drop. I understand why they did it, but still. Drives me crazy. Okay, uh, we're just gonna do this for now. Let's get this stuff down, my lord. Uh, how do I just drop it? There we go. Great. Let's drop everything. I don't even care. Not even gonna look at this stuff yet. We're just gonna loot it. We'll look through it all in a second. Okay. Get it off the ground. Okay. <clears throat> what are we doing right now? So we just finished the big uh, event here. And now what I need to do is I need to decide where I want to make my base, my vault base. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to... Oh my God, wait a second. Yo, we are at 98 of 100 armor. How are we at 98 of 100 armor and like not even double digits on everything else? Maybe not everything else, but still, that's that's weird. Uh, let's see. We got some awesome mods. We got some... We'll sell that. Let's break down all this stuff. Uh, let's see. Did we get any other awesome... Not really other... Not many really cool things. Okay. Is that the music or a plane? I think it's a plane. Or excuse me, the music. Okay. Is that everything? I think so. Hey, touchdown. What's up, buddy? An aspect of you may not consider just how close to a map corner are you? If you build near the watery part where the map ends, zombies tend to not spawn from the water. I think the way that I did the map is I'm in the middle. Yeah, the, the way that we did the RNG map is the first tier is in the middle. So I think, honestly, I think I might just build our base here. Because as we go into the different biomes, it'd be nice kind of have having our base in a central location. Um, Maybe? What do you guys think? Like, I haven't, I haven't decided where we build this vault will be very important. but I'm not quite sure where we want it yet. I want to do it like in, I need like a flattish cliff, which I don't even know if that exists in this game. I'm not even sure if the procedural generation allows for that kind of thing, but I need like a, a super vertical wall. Hmm. Let me get on my, let me, let's go get our bike. We'll drive around on our bike. 
We also got a drop off. We need, we need to pick up everything and go back to our, our outpost. <clears throat> vault, can you explain what's new in this? Oh, oh, when I say vault build, I'm just talking about a base in a mountain. I'm not talking about like, they've added vault tiles or anything like that. No, 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 I'm, I'm just talking about I'm doing a, a mountain build. Yeah. Because I want to do some testing and the build system in this game is phenomenal, so. So what, uh, yeah, and, and Ben Wilson, that's pretty much what we're doing now. So my main my main defense bases are here. My my current main base, which is really just a taken over building is here. And now that we're in the desert, we have a secondary base here. And I'm using this base for all the missions in the desert. And then the plan is we do all the missions in the desert. They send us to the next area and we'll build a new outpost there. But I do want to have like a home base here in the middle. And I don't know where that's going to be yet. So that's that's going to be what we're going to have to poke around with. Uh, let's see. We got everything we can. Um, we're going to need to stop back by here on our bike. We also need to go sell. Big time. Okay. Right, let's go for now. I believe having the base in a harder area will also make the seventh day raids harder. Okay, well, yeah, that just even more reason to keep everything here. Yep. All right, let's go back to our primary base, and then we're going to load this bike up with stuff and drive over to the desert. While we're on the way to the desert, we're going to poke around and see if we can find a decent place for the vault. I think we may use... I don't think we're going to be able to make the vault before the next seven days, especially considering I don't even know how I'm going to dig it out yet. So we'll probably do um, probably one more, maybe the 28th, we'll do at this current base and see if we can. I don't even know if we're going to be able to, but we'll see if we can. Do I have any fuel on me? I don't. Hi, Spikes. It's good to see you. Hey, Ogre. Thanks for your 35, dude. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you can, you can leave the turrets and some building materials and most of the ammo. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I see what you're saying. We can just leave a bunch of that stuff at the base. Good call. Good call. All right, what do we need to bring with us to the other base? Let's see. We can leave a bunch of this food behind because we have some food at the other base. Um, we can go ahead and leave some ammo here. Leave the turret here too. Both of them. Um, we can leave some meds here. Mm -mm. There we go. Um... Okay, what do we what do we need to bring? We need to bring the acid. We need to bring the rare stuff. The rare -er stuff. Um, can we build farming blocks inside? Or do they have to be outside? Do you have to have like grow lighting and stuff? They do need sky access. Oh, that's a bummer. So there's there's no way to like build lighting inside a building. It's not a thing. Uh, okay. Does our axe have a, a chopper on it already? I think it does. Yep, it does. I think we're good. I think we're good for now. Okay, let's get moving. Did we get the fuel? We did. <clears throat> oh, wait. Hey, the Nerdator. Hey, Co. Started streaming recently. And I just got to 10 subs. Been doing Stardew and D&M. D content. It's been fun. Cool, man. Hell yeah. Enjoy the ride. Good luck. Good luck. Mm -mm. And uh, thank you for your 33 months, buddy. Do you have assault rifle bullets? I do. I do. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. First gas. There we go. I think I left some in the container over here, so we're going to grab those on the way out. You need that filter for sure. Oh, I have the water filter. Yes, I have. I have. We Last night, we were able to get one of the masked water filters. Or the, the helmet water filters. So we actually have this now. And it is absolutely amazing. Water purifier mod. Allows safe consumption of murky water. Okay. So we're going to hit this first. Then we're going to real quick go to the other base. Um, let's just take the stuff with us we need. We'll leave, we'll leave the ammo here. We'll, we'll bring, we'll bring a couple in case we want that, but that's all. Here we go. Uh, Omneranya. Ko, do you happen to know why all Android apps on your smartphone began to weigh five times less? I searched the internet for an answer to this question, but I never found it. I think there's a joke in there. I think I think there's a joke in there, but I'm not sure I'm smart enough to get it. Oh, that's not a joke. Oh. Okay, so Omni Ranya, when you say why all Android apps on your smartphone begin to weigh five times less, do you mean like they, they're taking up five times less space? Do you mean size? That's what I'm guessing he means. But even then, he, that is what he means. I don't know. So, Code, do you happen to know why all Android apps on your smartphone begin to go down in size by about five times? I, I don't know. The only thing I can assume is maybe they have some kind of new compression thing or maybe an update redid the, the way they do file structuring. I don't know. But I'm guessing it's some kind of compression that they've implemented. That's all I can say. Yeah, but I, I have no idea. It's a TLDR. I have no idea. Mm. Mm. A cursory search does not show any obvious answer to that. So that's interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm not... Like, how long ago did you notice this? Are we talking like this happened this morning or like last month? Huh. That got him curious? It did. I'm very curious. I don't have to go check my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't normally check the size of my apps on my phone. That's not part of my daily work day. <laughs> so I, I am very interested in what this is. Absolutely. Oh, now I will say this. I will say this. Omni Arania, if you're talking about why the entire file size of your used files dropped by 5x, then what can frequently happen is if your phone fills up, it will archive. Could that have been what happened? Um, like, like, did your whole phone shrink? Or was it like the specific app sizes that you were checking? I'm, I'm starting to wonder if it was just an archive that went through or something. Oh, no, no. Omni Ranya says, for a couple years now, all applications have been sized less after the update. So it is an app per app thing. How weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Did they try turning it off and on again? Well, from the sounds of it, they don't need to do anything. <laughs> it sounds like whatever's happening is good. So let's, let's, uh, we'll just let that keep doing its thing. All right, so what we're going to do now is let's kind of put everything away. And we're going to do like a quick inventory reset here. Um, I should have brought more stuff back, to be honest, but that's okay. Wow! Wow! I, love, I do it. Kai, Kai is so... That is one of the best sound bites I think that has ever come out of this channel. Uh, we'll put the fuel up here in a locked spot. 
I'll put the food up here in a locked spot. Put the mods in here. This I think we're going to sell. Do we have any dupe mods? No? Not right now. That we're going to sell. This stuff we'll put back. And all this can come with us. I guess, you know what? I'm going to start using these pipe bombs. I didn't use... I don't want to use any of these in the base defense, really, because it's too dangerous to potentially hit our base. Oh, wait. That's another thing we can sell. But, uh, yeah. Look into that more. All right. We got 10 coffee. Let's bring some feuds. All right. Got some feuds there. What else do we need for this feuds? Um, where to put my wood, chat? There's my wood. Always losing the wood. Okay. So, um, this is the business right here. Potato, corn, animal fat, and water. I need to, I think I want to do more hunting. Like, I, I feel like we're, we're losing out a little bit by not doing more hunting. But we'll check that out later. All this stuff is still growing. So the two vegetables in this are corn and potato? Yeah, good. So we're just going to kind of mass produce those for now. Oh, no. Shoot. Did I bring all of my rotten food to the location? I think I did. That's fine. We're going to set up our main farm at the other place anyway. That's okay. My, my goal is to eventually have a farm. So every time we visit our main base, we can collect enough food and resources to not have to get food until we come back. Yep. So that that is that is the goal. Okay, we're ready. We got to get as much questing done as we can, dude. We are we are on a quest frenzy. Now this is a T two fetch quest, but can I tell who that's for? Because I only want to do trader gen quests right now. Um. Uh-oh. It doesn't say who it's from. Uh, I think it's, I think it's from her. Because it's close to her. Hmm. Wait, what's this about a you shall not pass thing? Oh, oh, you're talking about my tweet this morning? Dude. The funniest thing happened. One of, one of the funniest things. So, my son Kai runs into my bathroom where I'm getting ready for the day, right? I'm like brushing my teeth and stuff. And he, he walks into the bathroom with, there are these like plastic toys that have these little clips and you can put them together and build these big structures. And he's taken three of those sticks and made this giant staff. And for the record, he has never seen Lord of the Rings. Um, he just knows the meme. So as he's standing in the doorway, my five-year-old Kai holding this giant stick, my son Asher, who is two, comes up behind him. And he, and Kai kind of looks at him, turns around, holds his staff up, and goes, you shall not pass. And my two-year-old looks at him, having no clue what's going on, and goes, nah! and turns around and starts running to mom. Kai, horrified that he just made his brother scared unintentionally, Puts the staff down and goes, no, no, you can pass, you can pass, pass away, and starts running after him. And that immediately immediately made me think of Gandalf doing that. And that put a big smile on my face. Like it made me wonder, like, did Gandalf ever tell someone that he wasn't supposed to, that they can't pass? <laughs> but he was like, no, pass away, pass away, it's fine. It was really funny. So that was that was the Kai story this morning. <laughs> oh, I love it. He's been really into, um, it's, he's been really into these puzzle games on his tablet, which have been great and really, really good for him. I love that he's into them. Hmm. Gandalf had a hard life? Yeah, he did. Mm. Epico. Oh, dude. I love it. I have that, I have that song in my, um. You change Rebel Path song too. for me. Whenever I'm listening to it, I'm expecting bongos, but there is none. I'll hear Rebel Path come up on my playlist when I'm driving around, and it'll get to that dark part, and I will hear in my head. Oh, oh. Hey, yeah. Every time. Every time. I, it, it, it might as well be in the song, because like I my, my brain plays it for me in the background. Every time. Ridiculous. 
Ridiculous. Man, I love this mini bike, dude. This thing is awesome. We are cruising. Mmm. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh. Go ahead and eat that now. That's a great meal. We should probably be taking out some of these animals as we pass them. That's okay. We'll focus. Uh oh. Hey, Ko. I recently lost my job. Luckily, even though I hate technology and have never programmed before, I was offered a lead designer role for the Twitch app team. Don't worry, I've got this. Damn it, Ithris. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, you couldn't do any worse. <sighs> Just saying. Alright. Mad Feline, how are you doing today? I know, I know. I read Ithris' tip, and then it got to the end, and I was like, how is he going to thank failed marriage this one? And then he didn't, and I was like, okay, that's fine. Benji says, no more coffin game? Oh, we are absolutely playing more knock on the coffin lid this afternoon. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Am I going to play Stellaris 2? I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here. Do you mean Sins of a Solar Empire 2? Or do you mean Stellaris do? You do. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to play that yet. Um, I did play some Sins of the Stolar Solar Empire and Stellaris. But the thing about those games is they tend to be really, really long. And they're also kind of slow. So unless I'm really into them, they lead to pretty boring streams. Just to put it bluntly. If I get into one of those games, it, it's pretty awesome. But... The amount of times that's happened is far less than the amount of times it has. So, like, those games are super, super fun, but they're not necessarily super fun to stream and super fun to watch. Uh, I feel the same way about, like, Civilization games and stuff like that. So, yeah. If It's the kind of thing where if I ever run out of games to play, I would, I would love to play Stellaris and Sins of Solar Empire and, and other things, but I always have other games I can play. So, 